Okay. Today, September 13th, and we are visiting here. Interesting place. We are from Ukraine. So nice to come here. You came here so long way from Australia, we know. We came a very long way. Absolutely. Yeah. But, but we enjoy already different stories on internet, so it's, we are really pleased to see it on our own eyes. Because okay, we are breeding and rearing bees and also creating our beehives. Why not? But all beehives were different, useful, because this is like different cars, by the way. This is Mercedes, Honda and Hyundai. Everyone is working a little bit different. Someone likes Hyundai, but someone likes your flow of honey and flow of beehive. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So quite interesting because we are doing also this style of wooden beehive. But okay, inside of our frames, okay, from wood and metal, a little bit com combination. So that's quite amazing how you created it. It's open and it's coming. That's exactly what it does. And you don't have to remove the frame from the hive, you harvest directly from the hive without disturbing the bees. But uh, the most uh, important question sometimes it's arising in my mind mm, people say, how is about? Mm, it should be already f okay fermented honey because if it is a uh, fresh honey fresh honey is uh, like a liquid but when honey is already staying for longer time it's becoming more um, not you, it's the same the same har the harvesting is the same as a traditional hive you can when the frame is full you harvest viscosity viscosity, viscosity. i mean it should be just What's high viscosity or just the middle no, one. No, it can, it's whatever the, the bees produce. The whatever same? the bees produce. They cap it when, when the um, or water when levels, it's ready. When the water levels are the correct point, yes. when the uh, moisture is at the correct yeah, point, yeah, yeah. and so they cap it. It's, and it probably depends only from type of honey. Some honey will be more viscous That's and correct. one is less. That's correct. It depends it from honey. No, it makes no difference what type of frame you use. Ah, right. That's right. So some honeys can be too much viscous, for example, even difficult to extract it. Uh, that's not been our experience. Even Russian honey that's very thick um, is able to be uh, harvested from the... But people like in, in New Zealand, do they use it like for manuka? Yes, we have, we do? Uh, we have commercial beekeepers in New Zealand using it for manuka. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's interesting. And w which honey is uh, more viscous, for example, in Australia? Could be. Um, well, we have um, the Australian um, uh, manuka, it's called jelly bush, um, is used in the flow frames. Yeah. yeah. We have a lot in our local area, in fact. Um, in fact, some of our company, um, our team, very, they're all very committed beekeepers and they harvest jelly bush using the flow frames. Oh, right. right. the same as the manuka. Yeah. That's lovely. So, and we have. Um, Beekeepers in areas where the honey is uh, quite neat, quite quickly becomes crystallized. Oh, yeah. Um, what happens? Um, it's the same, the same as you would in a normal frame. Is that if you, when the frame is full, you harvest it. And um, so you need to open it just before crystallizing. Well, you, when the frame is full, you then harvest it's just it. More so you don't let it sit there. Yeah, right. And Otherwise, it will be crystallized. That's correct. And in, in many ways, this type of um, harvesting system is more suited to crystallizing honey because you can harvest very quickly as soon as the frame is full whereas with yeah, traditional the frame time. keep an eye on it with the traditional frame because it's such a, a big process of removing the frame of extracting it it's a questionable as some people say but still it's a process of course. no in, in many countries where um, Machine in Australia when it's hot and it's humid. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, and you know, you put your well, bee suit on. And, yes, you know, for sure. It's, 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 it's a, a difficult process. It's a process. If you enjoy that process, then that's, uh, yeah, that's yeah, great. Yes. Uh, if that's, you that's, that's want so. an alternative, Absolutely. then I suggest that you that's good. That's right. Everybody, you know, as you say, it's, it's um, what people prefer. Mm. Yeah, right. But did you try you know, to, to create or taste uh, different sizes of Beehives, yeah, like this is a middle size, not very big, not so heavy. But uh, did people create it? Okay, two stories. We have some beekeepers, we have a commercial beekeeper in Canada who is producing um, like a multi story beehive, uh, five levels yeah, yeah. of uh, honey uh, of flow supers. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, in terms of the taste, we've actually been doing a lot of scientific research on does the extraction method affect the honey flavor. And our, our 
data that we're receiving um, is indicating that it does. Um, but it depends again what honey flavor you like. It's very, yeah, you know, so it's a very subjective. It's very subjective. That's true. You know, this lovely thing about beekeeping is. You know, you do what you like, what works for you, you know? Sometimes people are doing not only what do you like, but what is more commercially profitable. <laughs> uh, well, that's true. You get that in most fields. Yeah, because uh, during okay, this uh, commercial beekeeping, people need to migrate from one place to another. So this also a long way process. Uh, so we try to save time to take off some boxes to make it quickly, 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 quickly. And, and, that, and, we, and, that, and there is no... The type of honey super they use will not change that, yeah, yeah. that, that yeah. decision. And that's, and that's um, people's choice. Yeah, of they, course. So this it depends from a place, do. people, um, beekeeping system, and uh, of course. people are very different. And that is what creates the interest in the world, isn't it? Everybody's Absolutely. Thank you for your kind presentation. Thank you just for your Any attention. Anytime. Anytime. Any questions anyone has, we're more than happy to. We have um, you know, a customer service team who are um, all experienced beekeepers and who are experienced with our product. Um, available anytime to answer questions. We have um, a very uh, passionate you know, customer, customers through the world who, who are also. How you say? How we say uh, to be correct in English? This type of a uh, connection in this angle, uh, joints. These are the finger joints. Finger, finger joints. joints. Finger joints. Finger yeah, joints. it's all laser cut finger joints. Because this is more stable. Okay, for many years it can be used. So it will, for, for more years at least. Look, I, I, it depends it, from we, place. We believe it to be that way. You know, but again, you know, everyone so, has their own opinion. Of course. Um, we, but we still, the quality with it. We finger also joints the better. believe that it looks beautiful. Um, it's a lovely finish. They're all laser cut finger joints. Yeah. Um, this is, you know, this is uh, what we like. Um, and and uh, you know, again, it's it's your personal preference. Right. So um, we believe it's a, you know, it's a beautiful, a beautiful finish um, on a hive. So. Right, right. Okay. Thank you for presentation. It's very pleasant to come here to this. Australian beehives, low beehives, which have became so famous all around the world. So even people in Ukraine far away knows about it. So we know and we're very pleased to show it for people. By the way, we're speaking in English. So, but if Ukrainians are interested, they can look at it in a so close distance. Just, I can touch it. Oh, I can touch it and say, it's interesting one. Okay, try to taste it. You will open like this, open. And honey is coming, honey is coming like from here okay we say it's, it can be called like a lazy beehive i open it and it's coming not lazy lazy it's a i don't think that's it's a i think it's a beehive that is very respectful to the bees because yeah, yeah. it doesn't disturb them as that i'm just harvest. joking i'm joking i always say lazy beehive when you try to spend less work for for management well i i, I don't think so because looking after Bees is always the most important yes, yes, part of, of being a beekeeper is ensuring their health and their well-being and inspecting um, for any pests and diseases is, is still just as important in this time of hive as any other time of yes, hive. Right. But what this harvesting method does is it's gentle on the bees. Yeah. It doesn't disturb them, it doesn't upset them, yeah. um, and they're able to um, quickly they keep working while the harvest process is becoming more busy with we collecting honey with harvesting rather with Absolutely. with management or with a beehive exactly and with frames so, and in fact we find generally that that people who um, have this type of beehive um, it's very interesting because it's, it's, it means that a lot of a lot of people who Perhaps in their younger years were beekeepers and they may have moved somewhere that has a smaller space or that yeah. they can no longer pick up yeah, because they're the, heavy. You know, the, the frames or they don't have the space to go and uh, do the extraction exactly. somewhere else. That That's also an advantage. advantage. And then so they come back to beekeeping as, a, as, a, as an old person. Yeah, we can keep still their passion. 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 That's exactly 
right. Even if you're 80 years old person can easily can manage this guy to type of behind. That's right. And, and also we find some women who perhaps might not have wanted to be keeping because it's Absolutely. very physical. Absolutely. This is something that they can, yeah, they can manage. And good explanation. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Have, uh, you know, significant, uh, about 40% of our customers are women. Yeah, that's lovely. Which is wonderful. And, mm. and for them to be able to be Okay, even for children, you know, okay, easy to open it. Take care. Adults will take care, but it means children, children can participate. Can participate. Can participate. And so they can earn as, Absolutely. As you see in the video, this is Cedar's son, um, Stuart, who's here as well. It's Stuart's grandson. And oh, he from, you know, uh, They can participate and learn to love babies. Okay. Oh, this man is also he is one of the greater team. Yes, uh, he was one of the individuals. Lovely, yeah. thank you. Thank you. That's a pleasant. Anyway, okay, thank you. Nice thank you very much. You. Thank you very much for just introduction, and we are very pleased to show it in a so close distance. Okay, and don't forget to follow our channel, subscribe, and press likes. And this was Victor Prusovania. This lovely first turn is in five. Low in five. And this is honey. No, 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 no. I'm eating honey. Thank you. Yola Bu böylece bal en alta akıyor. En alt dedi mi? Pardon, şöyle tutmam lazım. Yanlış tutuyorum. Şuraya akıyor bak. Buradan akıyor. Buradan da e, borular eşliğinde bak böyle akıyor. Şöyle akıyor. Şöyle evet, anlar mısın? Sonra tekrar düzeltiyorsun. Aralar aralarını tamir edip tekrar bal dolduruyor. Sonra tekrar akıyorsun, tekrar akıyorsun. Böylece e, normalde nasıl çiziliyor bu? Okay.